Bonus behind the scenes kind of uh, video here. I've just got a very special package and it's a uh, new bow that I've ordered. And I'll be making videos on this because this one's very special. Um, and it's not necessarily just unboxing so I can see what it's like the first time. I am excited to check it out. But also, I've made a new measuring rig to measure the draw weight of uh, my bows. And so, this is actually, this goes up to 300 ki kilograms, more than what we need, but uh, it'll measure the draw weight of the bows. Um, and so this is the one that I'm still on. I want to open it, but I also want to measure where I'm currently at in my draw distance, and then we can measure it on the new bow. So maybe I'll just, I, I want to test this out because I haven't even used this yet. And so it'll be interesting to see because I've already weighed this bow. It came in at over hundred pounds but it might have lost strength since then. And so, if I, I'm gonna aim this way. Oh, but, so, I'll just explain this. Uh, I've measured this arrow, and so past the blue is 28 inches, then 29, 30, 31, and at the very tip is 32 inches. And so, just to measure what I'm drawing to at the moment. Um, uh, hmm. Just got to stretch a bit. Ugh. So, full 32. That that got to 32 because I I didn't want to get the it past the shaft because it can hit it. But I actually I could have actually pulled it even a little bit further from that. Um, but I don't always draw it to that point when I'm shooting. I think my natural uh, draw distance when I'm just shooting normally is about 28. And so I just go to about there but um, going further is very easy. So, could be that the, um, the draw weight of this has lowered a bit, but we'll find out. Let's, uh, let's do a re-weigh in of uh, this beauty, and, um, and we'll get to test out how, if this works. So, that's on zero, okay. And if you come, if you see here, I've got the distance, distance is marked here, and so, 30 is going to be the standard, um, 32 it will be full draw, and this is over draw if we get to 30, uh, sorry, 33, and under drawing there, and so let's uh, see what this thing pulls to. All right, so you're going to be upside down if you want to see the um, screen. I just hesitate to stand in front of the bow. <laughs> All right, so we're on 30 at the moment, and that's at 94 pounds. Then if we go to 31, 99, and 32, 102 pounds exactly on a 32 inch draw for this boat. So 102 pounds, that hasn't lost really anything. That's still going great. Um, ooh. I was worried that it got, because as we get, this is supposed to be getting easier to draw, and I was worried that it's because it was getting weaker, but I guess I'm getting a little stronger, maybe. Maybe. So, all right, she's still good. She's still good. So now let's, uh, let's open this. I, I really want to weigh in this one, because I still can't draw, fully draw this, and uh, it's really tough. So I want to know what weight this is actually drawing at. But now I got another bow, which is going to represent something really important for medieval archery. I'm going to make videos on it, but it's also in the middle, in between the weight of this one and my 100 pound. And this should be 110 to 115 pound bow, but with a couple of differences. You might see, because already, can you see something very different about the package? Yes, it's very small. It's small. Mm. You see how big it is. And what's also, it's light. Mm. Oh, wait, I, I, this is actually shockingly light. But all right, let's, let's, uh, let's open it up. I'm, I'm so excited. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, wow, this is so light. Shockingly light. 
Oh, man. So this bow is a custom-made one. Uh, it is made with modern materials, so it's because this is going to be pulling at 100 and 10 to 115 pounds, hopefully, we'll test. And to make a bow this small and that, um, the, of course, the safer and more reliable to make it out of. But even just, hang on, even feeling... Oh my gosh! <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is a stiff bit of wood! <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Stop making me laugh, Oz. Um, what are you, why are you laughing, Oz? Oh, I just, it's uh, funny because it's so small yet so hard. <laughs> See, it's not all about size, is it? It's about how hard it gets. <laughs> so, it is a, a fiberglass composite. And it's made by like Misco Bows, MR Bows, I believe is the um, official name. So this is made by MR Bows, and he's one of the only guys. So look, you can find a lot of people making um, a smaller Asiatic style high, high draw weight bows. There's more people doing it. But this is actually not an Asiatic style bow. I specifically got him to make it. Because he, he was the only ones that making styles of this one. This is his um, Despot model. And... Uh, it's actually based off a Byzantine thing, and if you look to medieval artwork, it's very representative. This is a medieval boat. People, oh, anyway, I will save that for the video. More information on it, but oh, this is gorgeous. You see how I got the um, wood? It's got like a different color wood inlay there and there. It's very pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. Can't wait to give this a go. So. That's the string. This is the string. So, <laughs> I'm not going to be out of string because technically I should be able to um, do the whole thing like that. I'm not going to be able to. I'm going to have to use a stringer, I bet. But, um, let's, let's have, I'll, I'll at least try and be embarrassed to the internet in my fail in trying to string this. Still, like, being such a high draw weight for being so light and so little, it's shocking. So I need to get my foot in there, get it around like this. Gosh. I heard that the nickname for these types of woods used in these bows was called wood of the morning or morning wood. Is that correct? I'm not sure. I'm not sure where you heard that Oz. That sounds a little suspect to me. It's 92 at 28 inch draw, but that's low drawing. And so we'll find out how much it pulls to when we get to a higher poundage. Uh, but uh, to save my embarrassment, this stringer is going to be way too long. This is made for a longbow. And this isn't made to have a stringer either. Oh, I'm going to have to, we might have to just like either do a super cut or cut it out or cut something because I'm going to have to try and string this normally. Gosh. This is going to be pain. It's weird. So I've never shot a little bow like this and, and bending it this much. I'm like, I'm worried I'm going to break it. And I wonder... Is there an easy way to do this? Yes, use the stringer. Use the stringer. There's no shame in it. The thing is, there's no stringing point. There's not a second knock to string it. That's the problem. Can one. you make one? Um, Sorry, uh, Shad, you were saying you need some help need stretching some help. your it's tip. My, it's my first time. Yeah, yeah. It's my first time. All right. I'm going to help. With a bow this... Small? <laughs> All right. Get... It's, it's not a small bow. It's very strong. It's not about the size of the bow. It's how far it can shoot. So, no, 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 you need to grab it at the very tip because the string is going to be coming up. So, so hang on, hang on. You need it. See, you can't yep. let it twist. So, so I'm going to need a push. No, stop, stop, stop. Man, my freaking ankle. It's like digging into my, gosh. No, my shin. It's actually my shin. It'll dig into the sh my, I need like a cushion. <laughs> Let's All get right. a towel or something. Tell. So Jack from um, from Historical Archery, I think I see him doing it just, how, did, how does he do it? He'd probably just say harden up Shad, just use stronger muscles. It's my first time Jack. Alright, you want to wrap this around your leg? Yeah, so I wrap it around my shin and 
still digging into the back of my leg. I might need like a cushion for back of my leg, but all right, let's try this. It's not even close. Finger. Yeah, I know. Ow! <laughs> like, that was really digging into the back of my leg. Well, I mean, it's proving this is a this is a tough little friggin' bow. Yeah. So, can you hold this in so it doesn't come off while I'm pulling up? And so I need to put this on my, on my shoe. And we're gonna go, gosh, it doesn't even work. Well, no freaking wonder you can't do a stringer. It's just slipping off. This video, two idiots trying to string a little bow. It's not little! Perfectly reasonable size. <laughs> to be fair, it'd be much more impressive when it's fully uh, yeah. the word? Um, hard. Strong. Yeah, yeah. When it's, when it's got its tension. Tension. Yeah. yeah. We've had a dumb idea, but it might be the only way to work. <laughs> we get it to work. So this is the plan. We're gonna double team it. Okay. So you got that. Let's put it down. So further down, about right there. Yep. Okay. And so, we really want to be pushing on the very tips. Yep. Got it? Got it. It's on! Oh! Oh, push, 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 it's on my finger, it's on my finger! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you bastard! <laughs> Look at this bow, dude! Pretty. How sexy is this? That's a sexy boy. I like that piece of wood. Gosh. Freaking out. What's with the... That is uh, for the arrow pass. Oh. Uh, Protect the wood from the arrow making contact and stuff. Do you want some barriers for it so you can shoot it? Well, first we need a... I need to even test how far back I can draw it. Mm. Then we need to get a test the weight. Mm -hmm. Like the actual draw weight because it's so light. Yeah. But the shape of this is just gorgeous. Pretty boy. What did we discover? Well, that I'm gonna have to go through that ordeal every time I try and string the darn thing, unless we uh, figure out a better method or just harden up. Strengthen my shins, the tendons on the back of my knee. <laughs> That's insane, like, I think I've seen Jack just do his heavy little bows like that, but he's pretty hard. Um, man. You're saying so, he's a hard man? A hard man. So, here we have the bow. Ugh. Well, we already know I can pull part, just past 100 pounds. We'll see what this sucker can do. It's been a, it's so, I feel nervous drawing a bow like this because I know how much these limbs are gonna need a flex to get it to full draw. And I'm just, I'm amazed it doesn't snap. And I'm, I'm also amazed at how high draw weight this is. Like, it's, it's like, we'll see. So. It's a sexy bow. That's what I meant. Sexy bow. Oh, wow. So, that's interesting. Easy, easy, easy. And then it starts to max out right here. Just shy of 28. But what's weird about that, we measured my 100 pound and I got past 100 pound easy. And it's like I can't, depending on how much the draw weight is, because this said, this says 92 at 28. I barely got to 28 there. Let me try that again. I wonder how it is. But it's easy, 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 and then it ramps up really high at the very end of the draw weight end. Oh, oh. Oh. I don't know what I got that to either. Was that past the blue? I don't even add the blue. It didn't look like it went close to the, that close to the That's blue. That's weird. But the, we, we have it on camera of the 100 pound going, well, unless this is actually incorrect, we'll measure how high draw weight this really is. Just short. Just short. Yep. Gosh. Well, let's find out what this thing is actually weighed in at, because holy crap. Let's see. So, that's on zero. Do you want to come in and we'll... Yep. This is, recording still? Yep. This is a tough little bow. Okay. All right. So I was between 27 and 28 then. 
So at 27, well, no friggin' wonder. 27 is 105 pounds. <laughs> That's just on 27. <laughs> no friggin' wonder. All right, this oh. is tightening up. So just be good. We're getting to 20. So 28 inches. <laughs> It's 117 pounds. Come around to see that. I can, I can see. I'm but, but, but flat, so people don't have to look sideways. So we're looking at. Let me get it to 20. 117 pounds at 28 inches. No friggin' wonder. But I was close actually. Let's get it to 29. Oh, this does not. I think 29 is going to be the max draw on this. Because look at how much it's. The bow limbs are flexing here. 29. 137! Look at that! Come around flat so they can see it. No, 138! It's jumping between 100 and 138 there. Mm. Holy crap! Holy crap! So this actually is higher than what the bow is, is actually written on it. So just to explain this discrepancy, I am measuring the draw distance from the back of the bow's handle, not the front of the handle. It is common for people to measure draw distances from the front of bow handles, and if that is the case, that's a difference of about an inch. And so if you measure it from the front of the bow's handle, my despot would come in at around 105 pounds at 28 instead of 27 inches. And all the measurements that you've made in this video, you just need to knock it down by one inch. But like I said, I measure draw distance from the back of the bow handle because it's more consistent when you compare it to other bows because the width of the bow handles are different and even though it's written around 90 pounds at 28 inches draw I specifically ordered this bow to be between 110 and 115 pounds and when we're looking at what draw weight this bow is pulling at 27 to 28 inches that is exactly what I ordered the bow at. It can just ramp up to nearly 140 pounds when you draw it even further. It goes to 100 and like um, 2 to 103 pounds at 27 inch draw, then ramps up to like 117 at 28, and then 130 something at 29. This doesn't even go to like, to a, it would if it was wider, but like a 29 inch draw is about the full length that you'll pull out of this. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I was pulling past 100 pounds, and I'm almost at, I'm almost at like 115 to 117. But it's interesting how my body is a more, obviously a more accurate <laughs> measuring device than um, what's written on the box. So let me try this again. Eh? And I, that's, that's really interesting. Cause that means this, you don't necessarily need to do the classic, you know, medieval longbow draw to the E with this. Just drawing to there is gonna be, more than enough for the power this thing has in it. So let's do it, let's just. You made it to the blue. I made it to the blue. That's like, that's 115, 117 pound draw. That, oh sorry, that means I've improved. I'm happy about that, that's I'm progress. Whew. Whew. So before we end, Let's see what my Mary Rose replica draws at. Okay. So, as we saw, this, this is the, called the Despot. Ramps up in draw weight when you reach past 27 inches. It goes, whoa, 100 at 27, 150, 117 at 28, and then at 29, 130 pounds. What a crazy tough bow that little thing is. I'm astounded, I'm, ast I'm astounded, Oz. Astounded. Astounded. That's astounding. Okay. Uh, the arrow pass on this is right there. Yep. So that's the... So this is a machine of your own de de design. Well, I mean, people have been using, weight, measuring things like this uh, for a while. Jack has one that is made like it, but I did make the wood part, but then I had to buy the components. All right. So this one is made to more easily draw to like 30 to 32 inches. I don't think the despot would naturally reach that um, draw point very easily. So, 28 would be the minimum draw on this. But look, 
at 27, that's 120, this is 127 pounds at 20 friggin' seven inches. That's way higher than what I ordered it for. <laughs> Boston Bose, what are you doing to me? No wonder I can't friggin' draw it. Every time I pull, try and draw this bar, I'm only getting to here, I'm like, it's supposed to be 100 and, you know, 20 pounds at like 28, 30 inches, it's 27, it's 123 pound draw. 28 inches, it's a hundred, this is a 130 pound bow. And then 29 is 139, uh, 140 pounds at 29. <laughs> it's a friggin' 140 pound bow. Right, 30. We're gonna go to 30 inches. 144. This can be pulled to 132 uh, inch easy. So 31 is 149. Almost oh, 150 pound. And 32 inch draw is 155, 54 pound. 153. Gosh. So even if I get to 28 inches on this thing, we are looking at a 130 pound bow. Mm. <laughs> it's just, you know, and it goes to 150 friggin' pounds. Oh, well, that's my, you know, oh, I'm kind of glad that it goes higher because that means I've got a mark to aim for. Because if I can draw 150 pound, holy crap. So this is 130, this is 130 to 150 pound bow. It's an Mary Rose replica. And if I, cause like, look, look at this, right? This is what I'm like trying to draw this thing. And now we friggin' know why, ready? This is me trying to draw it. <laughs> and, and cause we know my limit, I'm maxing out at about 117 pounds. And so that's where it reaches 117 pound mark, gosh. It's because you don't believe that you can do it. Believe. You just have to believe. Oh, J man. Just know you can do it and then try. <laughs> know you can do it. So, there we go. My new benchmark is to reach 130 pound or 150. Did it go to 160 now? I can't remember. It went to 155, then it went to 153. That's up there. I'll be trying. Now, look, it might have actually weighed in at that exact amount. And I, I trust Boston Bows when he made it, but the wood might have seasoned a little. I don't get to shoot this regularly because I can't pull it. And so because it remains unstrung for so long, could have even stiffened it a little bit. And then after repeated usage, it might settle down. But at the moment, holy crap. So I've got lots of fun with bows to go, to go in the future. Um, and of course my new despot one, which is awesome. I can't wait to shoot it. Might need to do a little vloggy thing to show me shooting at as well. But uh, we'll see you later. You got big hands though. I've got little little sausage fingers. That was being a writer. Yeah. These gloves are so sweaty. Because of all the hard work. <clears throat> all, right. all right. Give it, give it a. All right. Is that correct? Uh, let's try higher and lower down into it. It'll... Oh man. Yeah, it ramps up right at the end, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> Is that because of the curvature? I, I don't know, yeah, I think it's a, um, a byproduct of the recurve right, design. I'm trying. Because you're technically pulling out further back than I think even the 100 pound, because the 100 pound is tougher on the early draw, and it doesn't ramp up so high on the end. Oh man. Yeah, but when you get to that point, it really. Right, last one. Okay. Uh, oh man, that's tough. Gosh. So it's such a myth that all little bows are like draw weight. Yeah. It's like DD, &D, uh, I'm gonna future videos. So we gotta unstring this now. Okay. I don't want to, I just like looking at it. It's so pretty. Well we'll have a record. Look at, look at the wood. Look at it like so MR bows. Right here. All right. Let's see if it all focus, focus. There's the MR bows. Gorgeous.